Incredible news for all those who are now getting benefits from Social Security. In this video, we are thrilled to provide information on a significant increase in the amount of SSI checks that beneficiaries receive, with some of them earning an additional $2,600 per month. The importance of this update cannot be overstated for anyone who works for Social Security. The following categories are included income, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Veterans Affairs, VA, Benefits and Senior Citizens. Determine the individuals who are eligible for the higher benefits and the requirements that must be satisfied. To ensure that you are qualified for this rise, we will walk you through the particular requirements that you need to fulfill. This includes age criteria, income limits, asset limits, and any other specific conditions that may apply to beneficiaries of Social Security Disability Insurance and Veterans Affairs. In addition, we will explore the ways in which your existing benefit status influences your eligibility, as well as the activities that you might need to take in order to be eligible for the additional cash. You should find out when you might anticipate seeing this increase in the amount that you pay each month. For your convenience, we will explain how the new payment system operates and what you may anticipate. Take note of this big development which has the potential to drastically improve your financial situation. Watch the video to ensure that you are receiving the advantages that are rightfully yours and to keep yourself informed. Okay, let's get mm. down to the nitty gritty of the Social Security Administration. See and the latest news that was made regarding your monthly benefit checks. It is important to note that the monetary quantities that are being discussed in this video are specifically related to Supplemental Security Income, also known as SSI, in the event that you are receiving payments from other forms of Social Security. You don't need to worry about benefits like retirement because I've created a separate video for you. Make it a point to look into that one so that you may learn everything there is to know about those advantages. Although we are concentrating on Social Security Income SSI in this video, the news that we are addressing is relevant to more than 70 million people who are recipients of Social Security benefits, SSI retirement, disability, Social Security disability insurance, survivor large-scale espousal, and even Veterans Affairs recipients are included in this category. There are a significant number of people and we are here to ensure that you have access to all of the information that you require regarding the ways in which these changes may impact you. Individuals who are receiving SSI are subject to very specific benefit amounts. Uh, right now, the highest possible, the monthly benefit for an individual is $943, while the monthly benefit for a married pair is $1,415 in equal installments. When compared to other social security payments, which might vary greatly, these values are it's extremely important because they are distinct from those benefits. After gaining an understanding of these particular amounts, you will be better able to anticipate what to anticipate. In the event that you have been following our channel, you are aware that we have been talking about a great deal of recent announcements. Recently, we were provided with the most recent inflation data for the month of May. At this point, you might be asking why we are discussing the data from May in the middle of June. The data is always released in the middle of the month that follows the one that it was collected. There is some good news, it appears, that inflation is beginning to stabilize unlike in. For the past, it is not growing at the same rate. When compared to the previous year, it has remained relatively stable at approximately 3.3%. Inflation has an effect on the amount by which your benefits will increase, so this is a significant consideration. The CPIW, which stands for the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, is the most important metric that we concentrate on. Because of this index, the amount by which your benefits grow in response to inflation is determined. But at this point in time, the precise figure is not being utilized for the computation, however, it does indicate a trend that we can monitor attentively. By keeping an eye on this pattern, we are able to anticipate future changes in the benefits you receive. Taking a look into the future, it is anticipated that the cost of living adjustment COLA for the year 2025 would be somewhere about 3%. The forecast for the previous month was 3.2%. Therefore, this represents a tiny decrease. These are still preliminary forecasts. The exact data that will decide your real rise are not yet available. We are still a few months away from receiving them. Given that these numbers are subject to change as new data is collected, it is essential to remain up to date. By gaining an understanding of these data, you can gain useful insights into the potential effects that these alterations may have on your finances. The maximum amount of money that can be received by persons who are receiving Social Security benefits each month is currently set at $943 for the year 2024. The monthly benefit would be increased to $971 if a 3% increment was applied, which would, which would result in an additional $28 being brought in each month. It is estimated that this incremental rise will equal to around $336 over the course of a year. The Supplemental Security Income, or SSID, is for married couples who are receiving it. The maximum reward that can be received each month is $1,415. A 3% increase is anticipated, which would result in a $42 increase in their monthly payout, bringing it to $1,457. In spite of the fact that these numbers can appear to be insignificant on a monthly basis, they have the potential to make a significant difference over the course of a year, providing some financial comfort in the midst of economic uncertainty. In light of this, it is essential to keep in mind the numbers presented here are estimates, and the definitive announcement is anticipated to take place within the next few months.
Different factors such as the rates of inflation will be extremely important in determining the exact modifications that will be made. We will keep you updated on any developments that may occur in the time leading up to the formal announcement, so make sure you stay glued to our channel. Please consider giving this analysis a like and subscribing to receive other content if you found it to be informative. Information that is both comprehensive and up to date regarding personal finance and some social security benefits. The Delaware Vehicle Rebate Program and numerous home buyer grant efforts are two wonderful programs that can assist citizens of Delaware in saving money. We are going to discuss both of these programs in this article. Beginning with the Delaware Vehicle Rebate Program is a good place to begin. If you are in the market for a new vehicle, you may be eligible for rebates that provide up to $1,000 in financial assistance. There is a difference of $2,000 depending on whether you buy a new vehicle for less than $50,000 or a used vehicle for less than $40,000. Within the first 90 days after the purchase or lease of your car, it is imperative that you submit an application, either through participating dealerships or independently, making sure that you have all of the required paperwork ready. This program, which has a total funding pool of $8 million, is designed to make personal car ownership more accessible for those living in the state of Delaware. Let us now discuss the home buyer grants that are offered in the state of Delaware. For the purpose of covering costs linked with mortgages or down payments, the Chase Home Buyer Grant provides up to $5,000 in funding resources. This grant is available to individuals who have obtained a loan through Chase Bank or who have chosen to obtain a conventional mortgage from the Federal Housing Administration or the Veterans Administration. The Home Path Ready Buyer Program is another initiative that is backed by the nonprofit organization. It is possible to get grants from the National Home Buyers Fund for down payments and closing costs, which can amount to up to 5% of the total price of the home. Participants are required to successfully complete a training program that ensures they are adequately prepared for the responsibilities that come with being a homeowner in order to be eligible for the Home Path Ready Buyer Program. Delaware citizens who are interested in purchasing a vehicle or their first house can receive significant financial aid through these programs, which are tailored to address their needs. It is possible for you to save money and accomplish your monetary objectives in a more efficient manner if you take advantage of these activities. Always make sure to examine the eligibility requirements and deadlines for each program in order to get the most out of the advantages you receive. For additional insights on financial opportunities and saving methods, social security benefits and the unforeseen realities that can profoundly affect your financial future, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel. If you found this material to be helpful, please consider doing so. Other topics that may be covered include social security benefits. Consider Lambert and her husband, a couple who are in their early 60s and are getting close to retirement age. While Lambert, who was 62 years old at the time, took into consideration beginning her social security benefits earlier, her husband, who was older, decided to postpone his. They carried on with their task. While Lambert's husband eventually started collecting benefits at the age of 66, Lambert herself decided to wait in order to achieve a greater monthly benefit when she reached full retirement age. Lambert's husband believed that they would be able to maximize their combined benefits once they both started receiving them. Just three years later, Lambert's spouse went away suddenly, which was a tragic and unexpected event. Lambert was forced to confront a harsh financial reality as a result of this heartbreaking loss, which not only brought about severe mental issues, but also pushed him to. If she had chosen to begin receiving benefits at the age of 62, she would have been eligible for a round. Waiting until she was 66 years old would have resulted in a large boost in her payments, which would have been $17 per month. The abrupt disintegration of their retirement plans, which 